Hello again, Jungle Explorer here with another ammunition uh, video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about old ammunition versus new ammunition. In this case, uh, I've got some really old CCI 22 mini mags. I literally, this is an unopened box. I have no idea how old this is. Um, I know that um, my grandfather had a, a friend of his who was big into NRA uh, 22 shooting and we're talking he was like 80 years old and he he passed away and and his wife gave my grandfather all of his ammunition and the last year my grandfather passed away and so I got this from him I don't recognize the the label on it it has no lot number on it um, it has a part number but it has no lot number anywhere on it so I really don't know how old this ammunition is. It could be, uh, I would say, minimum it would be 15 years old. Uh, it may be 30 years old or even older. I really don't know. Now I've got some newer uh, CCI mini, mini mag. Um, this has a lot code on it. Uh, J29V20. Um, I don't know if you can read that or not because of the sunshine. But uh, I think... Uh, this is probably 2015 um, ammunition. So, you know, I've kind of hesitated shooting this stuff. I don't know um, if it's going to perform. The powder could be old. I really don't know. So, uh, honestly, I've never shot this stuff before. And so I'm going to shoot it today for the first time and compare it. Compare the old ammunition to the new ammunition and see what happens. So... First, I'm going to take some of this old ammunition. If I can get the box open here. Look at it. I mean, it looks solid. You know, don't look like there's anything wrong with it. Doesn't look worse for the wear. Maybe somebody will recognize the, the label and figure out what year um, this stuff came out. So I'm going to load up a 10 round mag here with this. Okay, done. I'm going to turn my chronograph on here and let's shoot it over the chrono. Let's see if it uh, is actually shooting up to snuff here. Pull out my rifle here. My Ruger 10-22. Let me move this back a little bit here. All right, let's shoot some across the chronograph here. All right, so. Twelve eighty two. Twelve ninety six. 1234. I got an error on that one. And 1269. So that's five shots. We had an error on one. Um, it shot fine. Didn't seem to, to have any problems. Let's uh, do a little target practice with it and see if it has any accuracy. Okay, now we'll throw the target up on screen there. Well, let's go ahead and shoot for the big old middle one here. All right, well, I pulled one, but it seemed to shoot pretty accurate. No complaints there on that. So um, 
let's go ahead and see what the newer stuff does and see uh, if that older stuff is uh, still working up to snuff there. All right, let's go ahead and shoot five down range at the, uh, the target. Gonna go ahead and shoot for the, uh, oh, the left red dot. Not bad, about a nickel size pattern at 20 yards, uh, pretty much like the first one. Okay, let's Okay, let's uh, see what it does over the chronograph. It says on the box here, uh, 1235. Error, 1276, 1294, well, it's actually a lot higher than it says on the box, which is 1235, um, I'm going to throw both the specs for, uh, the stats for both, both, uh, test on the chronograph there up on the screen for you so you can see the different numbers side by side both had one error and both had a I think a pretty good spread I think there was a less of the spread on the older ammunition uh, than on the newer ammunition but uh, I think they both you know shot pretty good they're obviously very accurate um, you know I, they sounded about the same so I'm gonna say that older ammunition is is uh, it's still usable. I didn't see any difference in it from this and uh, like I said, I, I don't know how old this is But I would say 15 years is the youngest But it could be as old as 30 years old um, Maybe somebody can watch the video and comment and and I add that in later But uh, I think that uh, you know, I would not be afraid to use this old ammunition. It shot fine It was accurate. It held speed and uh, so hopefully uh, we learned something from this test. Well, um, if you uh, want to put in a side note here about uh, YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, you know, making these videos costs me money and time, and it's not my primary job, but YouTube is kind of uh, becoming a little bit anti-gun and removing some of the adverts, advertisements that they show along the videos, which they, they do help give me a little portion of if they show on my videos and that's why I really appreciate people watching my videos and commenting and liking and stuff um, but uh, they're kinda uh, trying to uh, you know they're they're basically discriminating against any type of uh, video that has uh, anything to do with guns and so I'm gonna I'm putting some product links um, in the underneath the video uh, so, you know, for the different things that I, I use in the videos, and uh, they are affiliate links, and they help me out a little bit. Um, you know, and so also I want to tell you right now about my brand new website, thejungleexplorer.com. Please head over there. Let me put that up on the screen there, thejungleexplorer.com. Head over there, check it out. 
I'm going to have all the videos on YouTube are going to be over there too. And uh, also some additional content that I don't have on YouTube. So go ahead and check it out and let me know how you like it. Uh, let me know what I can do this better. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, Jungle Explorer, signing out.